One of the most important parts of MCP are the resources. AI is only as good as the data that it has access to. So today, we're gonna to build an MCP server with resources. Hey everyone, I'm Sterling, and we're gonna build an MCP server with resources using the Ferengi rules of acquisition. Now resources are static, meaning they are read-only. They can live on a folder on your computer, they can live on a static database, there is no write ability, it's only read, which offers a little bit more security. Plus it has a verified and guaranteed URI, which is a concrete permanent address. So whatever you put in that folder, for instance, that's the information that the MCP server or the LLM will have access to. We're gonna dig into it using the Ferengi rules of acquisition from Star Trek. We're gonna use three programs today. We're gonna use Cursor, which is gonna be my ID of choice. We're gonna use Claude, and we're gonna use Postman to test our MCP server when it's all done. I'm in my terminal here and in my directory, we're just gonna open it real quick. And you can see that I have a Ferengi rules of acquisition MCP. Now we're using JSON here. As we've talked about in the past, LLMs love structured data. So make sure your data is structured as much as possible in ways that the LLM can understand. So regular patterns and regular naming. Okay. So you can see that I've got the rules of acquisition there. I'm just gonna open this up in cursor. Let's just have cursor scaffold my entire MCP built my MCP for me. So uh, can you, we'll add the context here. So we'll add the Ferengi rules of acquisition. Can you create a boilerplate MCP server using uh, node and TypeScript, we'll just say TS. And I'm really just gonna let cursor and AI do the rest. And it's making all of the files for me. Something to note while I'm gonna, I'm gonna scroll up here for, for a second. I do have a tool that I've created uh, an MCP server that has access to all of the TypeScript SDK from Model Context Protocol. So yes, I have an MCP server that's job is to build MCP servers. It just provides the documentation on correct scaffolding and, and so on. So you'll see that, you'll see that here. But what we're doing now is it's already created the index.ts, it's created the package JSON, it's got the readme, it's got the TS config and it's gonna add all this information. Now what we need to do, let's just go through, let's double check this, I'm gonna minimize some of these. Okay, everything looks good. Uh, let's just open this up. Uh, we're gonna open up a terminal and I'm gonna run npm install. All right, and we'll because we've got the rules of acquisition already there and it should be a tool call. So let's just double check this. Okay, so there's the resource here. I can get the Ferengi rule by number and there's a tool, cars, tool call. So uh, search rules by theme, great. Get random rule, get rule by number, all right. And get the list of the themes. Great, I, I like this, this looks great. So I'm gonna open up my terminal again and we're just going to npm run build. Now I've got my build file and there's my index.js file. That's the whole thing, that's everything I need. Okay, now that everything's been built, I'm gonna go and right click on the index.js file out of my build folder, grab the path, and now I'm gonna go over to Postman. And in Postman, I'll go to New, MCP. We'll close everything out so you can see a little bit better. We're gonna type in Node, because this is in this is built in Node, but it will also do Python and everything else. I'm gonna paste the path, and I'm gonna connect. And it's working. It's really that easy. Now, this is a resource, not a tool. Remember, tools are either function calls, which the tools are gonna to be calling the, the resources or their API calls. There are no APIs right now that I'm using in this MCP server. There's just the resources and the tool calls to get those resources. 
So let's get a random rule. We're already connected. We'll just run. It's going to get me rule number 27. There's nothing more dangerous than an honest businessman. <laughs> Great. Cool. Let's connect this to Claude. So in Claude, I'm going to go in and I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to go to develop and or developer and I'm going to edit the config. I'm going to open this up in cursor and in my readme, I've already got the information I need. So here's my Ferengi rules. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back over to my cloud config. Hit comma, drop this in, and we'll grab that path again. And we're just going to replace that path with the path to the index.js file. Let's save this. Everything looks good. We're going to quit and reopen Claude. And I'm going to check my uh, check in my tools. And there are the Ferengi rules of acquisition. Search by rule, rules by theme, get rule, uh, random rule, rule by number, endless themes. Uh, and let's just ask, let's just ask a Claude, um, the themes around the rules of acquisition. Okay, we're going to always allow. All right, let's have some fun here. Get me a random rule of acquisition and write a short story set in the Star Trek universe to go with the rule. You'll always allow that. We're gonna get a random rule. We're going to draft the artifact. Let's expand this. Rule number 255, the smart accountant. Rule of acquisition 255, a wife is a luxury, a smart accountant is a necessity. And there's a whole story. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. I love this. All right, so... Today I made a kind of a silly MCP server with resources, but you understand the purpose of this. When you have a resource in your MCP server, it could be anything. It could be documents, it could be images, it could be a, a database, it, it could be API responses, it could be just about anything in your resources that your MCP server has access to. And because like I said, they are read only, which means it's not going to change and it's not going to uh, modify any of that data inside of those resources. All right, I want to see what you build. So join us on Discord. We have our Discord server. The link is in the description down below. And if you like this, hit that like and subscribe button for more AI and API content. Thanks for watching.